Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Carly Bradley. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This morning, we'll tell you about some delicious summer recipes, Toyota's newest projects, and more. Today's Monday, June 5th, and this is the Morning Report. Christopher Nathaniel Guzman was arrested for the seventh time in Lee County after a Saturday SWAT standoff with Cape Coral Police. According to the police, a domestic disturbance spilled out into the street at approximately 4.45 a.m. as the victim fled from inside of the home and took shelter in a vehicle parked in the driveway. Reportedly, Guzman pursued the victim, brandishing a firearm and firing shots into the air. The Cape Coral Police arrived and set a perimeter around the residence and requested that Guzman surrender in a peaceful manner. The suspect's unwillingness to do so prompted a SWAT response. The standoff prompted road closures and warnings to nearby residents. After a two and one half hour stalemate, Guzman exited the home and surrendered. To read the full story, visit leeherald.com. A startup backed by the Japanese automaker has developed a test model that engineers hope will eventually develop into a tiny car with a driver who will be able to light the Olympic torch in the 2020 Tokyo Games. The goal of the Cartivators is to deliver a seamless transition from driving to flight, like the world of Back to the Future. Still, dabbling in businesses other than cars is Toyota's trademark. In recent years, it has been aggressively venturing into robotics and artificial intelligence, investing a billion dollars in a research and development company in Silicon Valley. It is also working in Japan on using robotics to help the sick people walk. To keep up with these new innovations, visit naplesherald.com. Summer has just arrived and it is already incredibly hot and humid. The last thing that feels like a good idea is slaving over a hot stove at the end of the day. With a few easy and very nutritious seasonal ingredients, summertime meals can offer a refreshing alternative to the hot and often heavy dinner options. Julie Coaster, CEO of Life with Moxie, a lifestyle revolution company, sat down to give us a few of her favorite recipes for hot summer days, including a delicious pasta salad and a twist on a classic cob salad. To read more recipes, visit naplesherald.com. And that was the morning report for today. I'm Carly Bradley. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break. That also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.